Britain is asking for still more men to train as pilots and air crews, especially volunteers between 18 and 20. The recruits of 1940 had little idea that by summer they'd be in the fight of their lives. One in six wouldn't survive. For now, they faced a course that promised 190 hours of flying in increasingly fast and complex aircraft. Guy will follow the same three-stage training plan, starting with the plane that every RAF recruit first flew, the legendary Tiger Moth. Now, when you say spinning, I don't understand. The instructor tasked with turning Guy into a Battle of Britain fighter pilot is Anna Walker. This is called the anti-spinning strikes. Anti-spinning strikes. An aerobatic and display specialist. There's still dual control. I started flying with my dad when I was six. Um, and I've been flying all my life, really. Do you know what that's called? Have, have you... The tailplane. Yeah, the tailplane is the whole thing. Uh, but, right. Yeah, this is the elevator. That's the tailplane. My heart, my love is vintage aviation and aerobatics. So now I can see that the, this is the rudder. Yeah. So what the rudder is, it's like, like a ship. It just does the yaw like this. OK. I've flown the Hurricane Spitfire, um, Mustang, um, about 200 different types. The angle of bank you've got. And I love instructing. So we're going to be using this all the time. Right, OK. All the time. Right. Yeah? Now look. She has got all the right ingredients. Look at the wings. Go all the way. We'll see how we get on. Well, the other one they're made to measure, don't they? Look at that. Look at that. Biplanes had been used in the dogfights of World War I. But the old-fashioned Tiger Moth design still made it the perfect trainer for World War II. With few mechanical aids for a new recruit to hide behind, it was easy to see who had natural ability. Guy's skills will be laid bare. Rest assured that when I say you have control, I won't be doing anything, because I want you to work it out what you're doing. OK, 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 OK. Anna will teach Guy a condensed version of the RAF's elementary flying course based on one of its 80-year-old manuals. As you increase the angle of attack, you see you create more airflow. Guy is a novice, but many of the recruits in 1940 had flown recreationally before the war. And in a matter of weeks, they can make their machines do aerobatics, which will make them top dogs in dogfights. They're not the most stable of planes. It, there's a bit of a knack to keeping them straight and level. So if I can sit in flight straight and level, then we're on to something, and then we'll try and go from there. There's going to be no loop-de-loops and um, any of that caper going on today, boys, I'll tell you now. Not on purpose. Right, shall we get cracking? I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll be gentle. Oh, no, you will. The first you stage think. of Guy's World War II Top Gun training programme is underway. Here we are in a Tiger Moth aeroplane. And this is a general layout of its cockpit. So tell me, tell me again what the instruments are. Um, forward speed in knots. Air speed indicator. Air speed indicator. Um, side slip. Which helps you to keep on an even keel. Yeah. Um, engine RPM, we don't need to be any more than 2,100. Yeah. And altitude, about 2,000 feet. And where's the throttle? Here. Engine speed is controlled by the throttle. Open, shut. OK, can you open right. the throttle for me? And close. And um, have you got any questions? I think that's everything covered. Okay, no, let's, so. So let's put your speaking hat on. Yeah. Just put it over your yeah. ears. OK, with the goggles like that. Okay. <laughs> hey, look, the fire. Bobby oh, Dazzler, mate. That's super cool. OK. Fantastic. Great. Thank you. Let's go. Guy will have two flying lessons today. If he's not competent with the fundamentals by the end, then he won't be allowed to continue the course, and the dream of flying a hurricane in his own Battle of Britain dogfight will have failed at the first hurdle. Hi, Guy. How we're we looking, Anna? Can you hey, hear me? I can hear you really well. OK, PK, fuel on, throttle closed, switches off. Contact. Contact. Now I'm going to ask him to take the chops away. And off we go. 
shocks are taken away, and we taxi into position to take off. For lesson one, Anna will handle the takeoff. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay, have a great flight. This type of aeroplane leaves the ground at approximately 40 miles an hour. What Guy doesn't realize is that just 10 seconds after the wheels have left the ground, his very first flying lesson begins. Okay, you have control now, and we want to go left, okay? 